Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love reading for my dearest Capricorns. Capricorn, we're going to take a look at who's coming towards you in love. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Capricorns for their highest and greatest good. Let's see who's coming towards you. All right, so we've got possibly an Aries or someone with strong Aries in their chart. Independent, bravery, and passion. Sorry, independence, bravery, and passion. They're also showing up as the sixth house, establishing a foundation, health, daily life, and practical details. So this could be somebody who's very, very interested in like health and wellness, or maybe they work in like a healthcare profession um, or healthcare type profession. All right. And we're seeing Capricorn energy. This is what they like about you. All right. Ambition, realism, and methodical steps. And we see Mars energy. All right. So move forward and defend self. That's what we need to know. So there's a lot of very strong masculine energy coming through. Just a reminder, my readings are not gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energies, but this masculine energy is decisive. It's strong. It's powerful. It's protective. It's strategic. And we see Gemini energy. So curiosity, intellect, and networking. Ooh, all right. So um, again, this person could have Aries, Capricorn, or Gemini in their chart, but this is much more, you know, it may be much more energy than the actual signs. So we see with this Aries energy, you have somebody who's very adventurous, very passionate, very independent, brave, courageous, uh, ready to take a leap of faith here with you, Capricorn. And the nine of wands, for some of you, this person may be in the military, which, which makes sense. Cause I do get a lot of this energy of like, you know, brawn and, 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 and power. And, um, you know, they, they, this person could have some type of like job where they're, where it's risky. So again, it could be military. I'm also seeing like firefighter, policeman, um, you know, some sort of, yeah, something that they, they, they're not afraid to take risks. I feel like they're very powerful. Um, very strong. I, I feel they're very sexy because of that as well. Like very, someone that pe a lot of people are are, are, are attracted to because I, I feel this person makes people feel safe around them. All right. And the eight of crystals, they're also very hardworking. Yeah. This person is very dedicated to their job. And for some of you, maybe it's in the healthcare profession or a healthcare profession. Um, yeah. Health and wellness is definitely their priority. Um, but they're sta they're steady, they're stable. I feel this person's very routine oriented, so they may get up early, work out, and it's like they don't miss a workout type energy. Of course, that doesn't have to be the case. Like they might not work out at all, but they're very they're routine oriented. They're dependable. Um, and with the five of swords, yeah, this person is definitely. Some of you, I'm getting, um, I'm seeing wings, um, and so I, I don't know. Maybe there's an air force connection. Although that could be like maybe your father or grandfather was in the Air Force or, or they are, their, their relatives were really interested. I just saw like a pin, like a pin with wings, maybe even a flight attendant or something. But anyway, um, the Five of Swords energy is just also someone who's who's hardworking, goes after what they want. I feel this person's very, very goal oriented. Okay. Um, and I, I feel you're going to like that. I feel like they like that about you as well. They like your Capricorn energy that you're ambitious and, you know, methodical and take steps to, you know, go, going after what you want as well. So I feel this is a very good match. There may be, there, there may be some healthy competition between the two of you as well as what I'm getting. Yeah. The five of swords makes sense with this independence card coming out. They have a strong sense of self. They're very self-reliant. Um, and they could be a Virgo or have Virgo in their chart. Okay. They're a planner. They're an organizer. Sometimes they overthink or they might overanalyze. That can be Virgo energy. It could be Gemini energy um, when either of those signs show up in their, in their shadow. And we have, they're very passionate. Absolutely. 
um, with this Mars. Some of you, they have a Mars in Aries, which is like super masculine energy. Um, there's never a dull moment with this type of person who enjoys life fully. They could be an exciting lover. And we also get Pisces. Ooh, all right. So we get Virgo Pisces axis coming through. So they could have a North Node in one of those signs. All right. So there's an air of mystery around this person. They can be quiet. Their thoughts and emotions run deep. All right. Interesting. So this person is definitely very versatile. I think it's going to be really fun getting to know them. And they might be very different than the way they come off because I do feel like they come off with this Mars and Aries energy, but I also feel they've got this very creative, sensual, imaginative, intuitive, passionate side. Well, Aries is passionate. Mars and Aries is definitely passionate. They could have a little bit of a temper, so just watch that, watch for that. Although I don't think it's really ever going to be directed to you. I do feel like if, if it's like work, they might, um, you know, like work or this person, I, this person is going to be very protective. I feel they've gotten into a fight or two in their day. Okay. Like a physical fight. Maybe some of you too, this person may have worked like security or worked the door in a certain place. That's if they're like masculine energy, but if they're feminine energy and they've got this Mars and Aries, they, they're somebody who's not, who's not somebody, they're not the type of person. Oh my goodness, Capricorn. Let me just calm down for a second. <laughs> if they're more of a feminine energy, they're somebody who definitely stands up for themselves. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at this how the sixth house, sixth house energy. So establishing a foundation. So they are looking for something serious. They're looking for something stable and secure. Health is a big priority for this person. Um, and daily life and practical details. See, this is where you two are going to really get along with each other because it's like the practicality between you two. The daily stuff is going to make a lot of sense for both of you. And it's just you're going to fit really easily into each other's routines. Um, like again, you might work out together is kind of what I'm getting. I'm seeing two people rock climbing or doing like a rock climbing wall. Again, not going to be for all of you. It could just be that you two are going to very easily overcome obstacles together. This person could be blonde. All right. Or there could be an important blonde that brings you two together. Awakened. So they're spiritual. They are where they need you, where they are, where you need them to be. And you may meet this person through friends, Capricorn. And they speak to you through music. So this person could be a musician or, you know, this is somebody who's going to send you playlists or maybe make a, a romantic playlist for you. Um, I feel this person's also going to really make you laugh. <laughs> All right. I don't know where that came from. I just, I just saw this person like cracking, like cracking jokes, making you laugh. Again, that could be that Gemini energy. All right. So let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance. What else do... My Capricorns need to know about this person. All right, they may go by a nickname. They hum often. This is also a really weird message that came through, and I probably shouldn't even say it, but it made me made me laugh. They might have a nickname for their for their you know what. <laughs> okay, if they're if they have a you know what. All right, anyway, hums often. Okay. Um, their first, middle, or last name begins with a vowel. And communicating their feelings comes easy for them. So I do like this because there is this, this also this very intellectual energy about this person. Um, yeah. And, and that might be something that maybe you don't see at first or you don't think is there, but it is. This person is, you know, they have these deep feelings. There's this air of mystery and an intuition about them, air of mystery about them. They're intuitive. Um, but then they're also, they're also really intellectual. So this person has got it going on. They've got like all of it coming together, but I feel like you might first see the Mars and Aries energy. Again, they might not have a Mars and Aries, but you're going to, you might, you don't underestimate this person. They're creative, they're passionate, they're strong. They're also very intellectual and sensitive. It's like, sounds pretty perfect in a lot of ways. Called you the other night. So some of my Capricorns, you are already talking to this person. Um, for others of you, you know, they are going to, they're going to pick up the, pick up the phone and make calls. You know, they might be a little bit more old school. <laughs> I love that, but they're also very confident. Okay. So let's see. What else do my Capricorns need to know about this person? All right, so we get main female. Beautiful. 
All right, so main female. Oops, excuse me. Sorry about that. I had to pause the camera to sneeze. Um, so the main female energy, again, remember my readings are not gender specific. But this person, you know, they've got this very powerful masculine energy, but they're also showing up in a very balanced feminine energy. So it feels like this person absolutely not only has a lot to offer, but they're looking for something serious and they're very balanced. And this is going to be a big change for you, Capricorn. I feel this is going to be something very different, but it's very powerful. But I also feel like there's potential for a lot of success here between you and this person. So what they love about you is Capricorn energy, ambition, realism, and methodical steps. So they just love you being a Capricorn. They love that you're practical. They love that you're you know, disciplined um, as they are, right? They love that you're wise and you're ambitious. You're a go-getter and the high priestess but they also see that you've got this cancer pisces energy about you whether you have it in your chart or not but it's like they see you as intuitive they see you as selfless they see you as creative um you know and it's exact opposite energy so you're also showing up in a very balanced masculine and feminine energy here which i love because that's why you two are probably very attracted to one another and this person they, they find you to be very sweet um, they may be crushing on you already. Um, for some of you, it could be some type of reunion, but I don't really think so. Um, we see meeting through friends. So maybe you met this person and they, you know, you weren't available, they weren't available. So that could be th that type of reunion, like it's somebody you've met before, um, but it doesn't feel like an ex. Um, it feels like there's really sweet energy here. And the Six of Cups is one of my past life soulmate cards. And we see the Ten of Pentacles. So this is about building a legacy, building, you know, having a family, being a power couple, having stability, security, and commitment with one another. So it feels like this is the real deal here for you, Capricorn. Okay. So let's take a look and see what else do we need to know? What else do we need to know here? Um, all right. They like that. Okay. So what I'm getting with this mask energy, this is what they like about you. Um, I'm going to read this card or these cards more intuitively. Um, I feel like, you know, some of you, they, they love, they, they love exploring the different emotions that you have, because again, you're in a very balanced masculine and feminine energy, but they also love that you like unapologetically share your feelings and, you know, they, they like that they, they kind of know you, um, in, in the sense that you're open and you're authentic, you know, the good and the bad. And I, and I don't think that scares them off. Um, they also think they love that you can, you can joke around and laugh and you can be upbeat and optimistic, but you also have a side to you that's, you know, that's darker, that's real. Um, so yeah, um, they're, they're willing to take a risk with you. They like that you're a little bit of a risk taker at times, but when it's appropriate, right. Um, they like that you're strategic, um, you know, and they, even though I feel like there's an energy of authenticity here, this person's going to really love uncovering your truths or the truths about you. Getting to know you um, is going to be, is you know, is going to be the best part. It's so much fun. And we see stabbed in the back. For some of you, they, for some of you, you you've been hurt in love. And um, I think this person likes that there's not like this you know, there is sweet, innocent energy about the six of cups here showing up, but there's also something, I don't want to say there's something dark about you because it's not that, but you know, you also haven't lived some type of Pollyanna life here. Like they're going to really appreciate the fact that you have been through some tough stuff and you've come out just the way you are, which is going to be like perfect for them. Um, again, some of you, you're going to start off with friends or you meet through friends um, I feel like one of you is a coffee drinker. The other one might not. Now I'm also hearing matcha. So, so for some of you, you might be matcha drinkers and maybe they are, but I feel like, you know, coffee, like one of you is going to drink coffee. The other one probably doesn't. It's a weird little message there and very specific. So it's not going to be for all of you. Um, but yeah, there's a very strong friendship bond here, but there's, there's passion. There's all the other stuff that's needed for this 10 of pentacles, right? For this to be a powerful, long lasting connection, and, you know, it, it is going to be sexy and sensual as well with this Mars and Aries energy. Um, all right. So this is going to be, this is a powerful connection. All right. You two are going to move in together. Maybe you're going to move in together kind of quickly or sooner than expected. 
it's sweet and innocent love. So there is a sweet and innocence about this, sweetness and innocence about this. And you're going to be, it's going to be a very healing connection. And you have a shared vision for the future. And I feel like that's what makes this a 10 of pentacles connection. Something that can really, really last here, Capricorn. So I'm loving this. I'm seeing piano. Somebody might play the piano. All right, let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance. So we have manifesting the one. So very soon your true love will arrive. All right, nice message there. And this person, yep, yeah, they're definitely going to make a proposal. They're going to be the one to step up and ask you out. All right, this is going to be a romance that evolves and levels up. Yeah, most likely moving in together kind of quickly, maybe even to marriage. This is going to happen within the next six months. And we also see it's definitely happening this year. I said six months, but it says nine months. Um, yeah. All right. And it's in the coming months. So spirits being a little bit vague here, but it is happening for you this year. All right. Let's see. Let's, let's round this reading out with a lunar lyrics card. Anything else my Capricorns need to know? Anything else my Capricorns need to know here? All right. We get Lady Gaga. You should have made some plans with me. You knew that I was free and now you won't stop calling me. I'm kind of busy. Ooh. All right. But I don't actually, so maybe for some of you, it is some type of like, you know, stop and start here within this connection. But I actually feel more than anything, um, Sorry, I just got a little bit uh, stuck there. I, I actually feel more than anything, this is this is you or this person cutting off other connections, letting go of other letting go of other connections. Um, because I I feel like this person's going to make plans with you. I think they're going to step up and take the lead. That's what they want, and I and I think you're going to really appreciate that. So I kind of feel this could be you know you talking to somebody else. Maybe somebody else is going to try to come back around. I don't think they. I don't think anybody else even has a chance. And uh, we have Oasis coming through. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. <laughs> How is that? <laughs> I'm sure you guys, everybody knows what song that is. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. Yeah, so this is definitely, the, this person, they adore you. They're going to adore you. All right, Capricorns, please let me know how these messages resonate down below. Um, I love reading your comments. Um, if you're after a private reading, don't forget to hit that like button, um, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box. Oh my goodness. I think this person's energy has me like all over the place <laughs> because I'm not making sense. If you're after a private reading, check out the description box. Also, my links to TikTok and Instagram are down there as well. My short form content is a little bit different than what I put out here on YouTube for my long form. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to stop talking. Love and light Capricorns. Take care.